Hello again everyone, this is our third video tutorial on embargoed dev C++ and we're going to create a static library with C++. Static libraries are collections of object files that are linked together when a file gets compiled into an executable file. Actually, you should know that static libraries has pros and cons for comms benefits of using static libraries that library code is connected at compile time and the final executable has no dependencies on the library at runtime. This means no additional runtime loading costs. Also, there will be no dynamic querying of symbols in static libraries. And for these advantages, we can say that it creates larger binary files and need more space on disk and main memory. Moreover, for any change or something like upgradation in the libraries, you have to compile the main program every time. But um, many production line software utilize static libraries most of the time. And this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough that shows how to create a static library for use with C++ application. Using static library is a great way to reuse code rather than implementing the same routines in every application that requires the, the same functionality. You just have to write and create a static library and you have to reference it from the application that you want to use. Now let's create a new project, file, new project. I'm going to select static library and I'm going to give my math library as a project name. You have to select C++ here, click OK. You have to save the project file and there we go. As you can see, we have empty blank document and I'm going to save this file as mymathlibrary.h as a header file. There we go. Now let's create a blueprint for our MyMath library, static library. So let's start. Now we have completed the blueprints for our library. As you can see, we have arithmetic class and we have four functions here. Now we have to create a new C++ file to implement these functionalities. So I'm going to create a new file and save it mymathlibrary.c++ Now I'm going to implement all the four functions of the arithmetic class from my math library header file. All right, now we can compile this file and there we go. All right, and now I'm going to create a new C++ console application to use this static library. So go to file, new project console application. So client app for static library. Click OK, yes. And before doing everything, we have to reference the static library from this application. For doing that, we have to open project options. You can open project options by clicking this button here, or you can go project and project options. And go to the directories tab, select include directories, and click this button, and select your static library folder. And click add button. And we have the aesthetic library folder path for this project. Now go to the parameters tab and click add library or object button here. And as you can see from static library folder, select mymathlibrary.a. This is the uh, static library file. Click open, click OK. Now we can include mymathlibrary.h header file. Include H. Using namespace std, I'm gonna remove this line. So, see out 10 plus 20 equals my math library arithmetic and add function 10 and 20. Now, let's save this and compile and run. There we go. We got the result, and now we are using the static library from this project. 
I think you have learned all the required fundamentals of static libraries with Embarcadio DevC++. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to create a dynamic library. Thank you for watching.